Good day, and welcome to our physical education class. Together, we will explore knowledge and skills that will help you and your family develop a lifelong habit of physical fitness and wellness. For this module, we will talk about the history of basketball. The learning competencies are recognize the history of basketball and the rules in the game. Create dance steps that represents the referee hand signals. Initiate in doing the task with the family enthusiastically. Before we start our lesson, let's have some energizer. I want you to identify the name of each photo shown. Let us assess first your prior knowledge of the history of basketball. Read each item carefully and arrange the jumble letters to form a word. Write the correct answer in the box provided. Number 1. He was considered the father of basketball. Number 2. This is done to start the game. Number 3. This is done through by replacing one player with another during a match. Number 4. This is a violation of walking two or more steps without dribbling the ball. Number 5. This is a violation committed by a defensive player on an offensive player. That's great! Before we proceed to our next lesson in physical education, let us recall our past lesson. Based from the previous lesson, identify basketball warm-up exercises shown on each photo. Write your answers on the space provided below each photo. Very good! Now, let's talk about the history of basketball. The history of basketball began with its invention in 1891 in Springfield, Massachusetts by a Canadian physical education instructor, James Nysmith, as a less injury-prone sport than football. Nysmith was a 31-year-old graduate student when he created the indoor sport to keep athletes indoors during the winters. Basketball is a team sport in which two teams of five active players each try to score points against one another by propelling a ball through a 10 feet high hoop or the goal under organized rules. Basketball is one of the most popular and widely viewed sports in the world. While competitive basketball is primarily an indoor sport, played on a basketball court, less regulated variations 
have become exceedingly popular as an outdoor sport among both inner city and rural groups. In early December of 1891, Dr. James Nysmith, a Canadian physical education student and instructor at YMCA Training School, today Springfield College in Springfield, Massachusetts, sought a vigorous indoor game to keep his students occupied and at the proper levels of fitness during the long New England winters to keep the students in shape. After rejecting other ideas as either too rough or poorly suited to wall the gymnasiums, he wrote the basic rules and nailed a peach basket onto a 10-foot elevated track. The first official game was played in the YMCA gymnasium on January 20, 1892, with nine players and the game ended at 1-0, with a game-winning shot made from 25 feet on a court just half the size of a present-day National Basketball Association court or NBA court. Basketball, the name suggested by one of Nysmith's students, was popular from the beginning. By 1897 to 1898, Teams of five became standard. By the 1950s, basketball had become a major college sport, thus having the way for a growth of interest in professional basketball. Now, let's talk about the rules in basketball. Jump ball is done to start the game. One player is assigned to the jump ball, usually the center player. They face each other inside the center circle while the other members of the team surround them. Inbound throw. The ball is thrown inward when 1. The ball goes out of bounds. 2. There is a successful shot made. 3. There is a foul. 4. There is a traveling violation. 5. The player who controls the ball steps on the end or sideline. 6. There is a 3 second, 5 second, 10 second, 24 second violation, and 7, there was a timeout. Violations while playing 1. Traveling or walking two or more steps without dribbling the ball. 2. The ball goes out of bounds. 3. Failure to enter opponent's court in 10 seconds. 4. Double dribbling or resumption of dribbling after dribbling stops. 5. Stepping on the line while doing the free throws. 6. Stepping on the line or sideline by one in control of the ball. 7. Personal foul or technical foul. And 8. Unsportsmanlike behavior. Substitution is done when the ball is dead as permitted by the table official. After a foul, both teams can have substitution. When there is a request for substitution, and the ball is already given by the referee to a team, the one requesting should wait for another chance. This is the referee's hand signal. End of the game. After 40 minutes, the game ends. However, if the score is tied, there shall be a 5-minute extension. Here are the scoring. 2 points for every conversion. 1 point for every free throw. 3 points from the 15-foot area. Foul is an attempt to unfairly disadvantage an opponent through physical contact. Here are the kinds of foul. 1. Defensive foul. A foul committed by a defensive player on an offensive player. 2. Offensive foul. Also known as charge. It's a foul committed by an offensive player on a defensive player. 3. Technical foul. A foul committed by a player, coach, or any member of the coaching team staff for showing poor sportsmanship. In basketball, there are rules and regulations that players must follow. In order that these rules and regulations are observed, the referee comes in. Referee is an official that enforces the rules and maintains order in the game. Given next, are the hand signals a referee does during the game. Now let's go to referee basketball violations signals. The first one is walking or traveling, or not bouncing the ball while walking. Next is illegal or double dribble. 
carrying or palming the ball. The next, 10 seconds, taking more than 10 seconds to get the ball over half court. Next, kicking, intentionally kicking the ball. Over and back, half court violation. 3 seconds, offensive player is in the lane or key for more than 3 seconds. Referee basketball foul signals. The first picture is holding. Next is pushing. The third one is blocking. The next is intentional foul, followed by charging or player control foul. Next is technical foul or T, generally for misconduct or unsportsmanlike behavior. The last is hand check. Other referee signals. The first picture is a three-point attempt. The next picture is a three-point score. Next picture is stop clock. The next is no score. The last picture is start clock. The next is jump ball. And the last is 30-second timeout. For our wrap-up, complete the graphic organizer below by supplying the correct answer that corresponds to each statement. Write your answers on the space provided in the box. I also would like you to read each item carefully and share your thoughts and ideas enthusiastically. Write your thoughts on the spaces provided. As a responsible youth, how important for you to follow rules? What will happen to you if you don't follow rules? For your post test, I want you to read each item carefully and identify what each refers to. Write the letter of the correct answer on the space provided before each number. Let's check your answers. 1. C 2. C 3. B 4. C and 5. C Job well done and congratulations! Thank you for listening. I hope that you learned something from our session today. Always remember to please be safe while doing our activities. I will see you next session. Goodbye.